Hello gorgeous souls. My name is Rochelle and welcome back. Welcome to the DIY Affiliates and Collectives Soul Journey. I'd like to say a special welcome to all of my new subscribers and everybody who is with me on this life journey where we talk about awakening, awakening to a twin flame journey, the algorithm for manifesting a desired outcome, energies, frequencies, and chakras. This video is presented in three parts. The first part is to get the Ancient Sofficial Frequencies Healing app to use on your device. Part two, the aura, the auric field, the auric subtle energy bodies, what a chakra is, how prana works, featuring the spiritual body. Part three is a guided visual throat chakra unblocking meditation done by the Brain Education TV. You can jump to any part in the video by using the timestamps of the moments. Before we get to the video, if you are looking for knowledge about the six stages of awakening or the twin flame journey, then look to the top right and find a playlist and you can choose the right video for you. And please take a moment to subscribe to my channel for more updated content. I give you just the facts. Jump in the video. One is to download for free the Social Frequencies Healing app from the Google Play Store or the Sonic Frequencies from the iOS App Store. You will see two links in the description. The first link will bring you to the Google Play Store. The second link will bring you to the iOS App Store. You would then download the link and install the app. This is for Android. After you install the app, you will open it up. You will see this screen. It will give you a number of choices. You want to look for the chakra's power and tap on open. You will have to watch an ad with the free version in order to gain access to the chakra's power. You can become a premium user if you choose. I am a premium user and I am not an affiliate with the company. I just use the app because I find it is the best one on the Google Play Store. You will then tap on the chakra's power pack, open up you will see this screen. Count five icons from the bottom, which will give you your throat chakra, which is 741 hertz, the Vijahada. You will also notice there are six round buttons on each side of the lotus. The first button will give you options of nature sounds. The second button, the shutdown timer, to listen to an ohm chant, to change the self-assured frequency indicator down to the lowest amount of frequency or the highest amount of frequency. The pranayama breathing, in which you can choose for meditation, for relaxation, for anti-stress. This is a guided inhale, guided exhale, guided hold. Pranayama breathing. If you are not used to listening to frequencies, especially higher frequencies on their own, make sure to turn the Sofisho frequency indicator down so you can listen to the least amount of frequency. This way you can start listening to the higher frequencies a little bit at a time until your brain gets used to listening to the frequencies on their own. Part two will answer the questions of what is a chakra? What is your aura? What is the auric field? What is prana and how does it work in our life? And it will also be featuring the spiritual body which is connected through the throat chakra, which is 741 hertz. We are not just physical bodies. There is a pulsing electromagnetic energy field that connects us and the scientific community has recently caught up with ancient teachings regarding the aura or the auric field. They have found that the aura is the electromagnetic field of energy that extends all around the body, expanding about four to five feet away from the body in an average healthy body. This is an energy source field that interacts with our physical body by flowing through spirals of energy centers located in specific places in the body. The spiral energy centers are known as chakras. This is a Sanskrit word meaning wheels of light. There are seven main chakras plus a number of smaller ones that interact with our body's ductless and endocrine glands and lymphatic system. 
by feeding in the good energy and disposing or getting rid of unwanted energy. This helps to regulate the energy as it flows in and around and through your body. So this is important to our health because we want to prevent illness or disease. So we need to learn how to nourish our chakras and understand what is this energy pulsing through the body. Have you heard of the word prana? What is it and what does it mean? We get most of our sustenance from the Mother Earth, from the air we breathe, the water we drink, and the food that we eat. This all creates prana, which is a vital life force life force that can be absorbed into your body through the chakras. When your physical body is fully in harmony with life, a larger central line of energy called the Shushna Hara line extends down through the auric field right into the earth's core. This is called the umbilical cord to Mother Earth. Take a quiet moment to ground yourself, picturing your central energy line like a strong root that can pierce through all the layers of the earth. This will help you to feel more deeply connected and relaxed. When you are connecting with nature and with your body, it helps to keep your chakras open and your auric source field clear. So now what is this energy which is the life source of the universe? Prana. Prana is an energy that pulses through the body along a network of subtle body channels. Similar to the nervous system, the channels or nadis, meaning pathways of the subtle body, connect, mm -hmm. form, and mind, and act as a conduit for this prana energy. Most of us feel better in a natural environment, so going out for a walk in nature or going to the park or to enjoy the energy of the beautiful green plants you have in your home or your office. This will give you the beneficial charge of negative ions. Negative ions versus positive ions. Positive ions are the ions that are present in large concentrations in polluted city air. You can also get negative ions from a Himalayan salt lamp. If you think of the chakra as bioenergy that flows in and around our body, surrounding our body is the subtle energy. Sometimes this is referred to as layers of the auric field or the subtle energy bodies of the aura. The human being's colorful energy field is shaped like an egg or an oval, a light of different colors. Each color is associated with one of the seven chakras. Some people may say it is cocoon shaped. This surrounds the body and it is made of seven layers of subtle energy blending together. The colors vary from all the colors of the chakras plus darker clouds of colors. Generally, the energy becomes faster and finer as it moves away from the physical body, and some people call this the luminous auric field. By looking at a person's aura, you can see the level of spirituality. The more advanced a person is, the lighter the colors are. You can see these lighter colors in the auric source field subtle energy. What is it? First, let's learn about the subtle energy system of the body. The subtle energy system has three components, the meridians, the chakras, and the aura. Meridians or nadis are pathways in which energy travels within our tissues. That This runs on each side of the body. There are 12 major meridians, the stomach, the spleen, the small intestine, large intestine, heart, lung, bladder, kidney, percardian, mm -hmm. triple warmer, meridian gallbladder and each on each side it mirrors the other side and each meridian is correlated to an internal organ so where does this subtle energy come from this concept comes from a collective of people who accept that the human being has the ability to see or hear forces that are energy pulsing through the body that cannot be measured physically what is this vital life force this is the prana that can be absorbed into your body through the chakras. Prana is an energy that pulses through the body along a network of, su of subtle body channels, similar to the central nervous system. The channels of the subtle body or natus connect form and mind and act as a conduit for prana energy. Here, there are seven 
qualities or seven energy bodies corresponding to each chakra within the auric field. Number five, the spiritual body. This is associated with the, the universe, the divine, and it is connected through the throat chakra, the Vishadhara. This is your connection to your spirituality, connection to the universe, connection to the divine, connection to the higher planes of existence, sometimes referred to as the astral body. This is connected through the throat chakra of self-expression and communication. Part three, we need to get on the right frequency to help open and unblock your throat chakra. This is 741 Hertz frequency in which you will find in the, the sofa show frequencies and also when you look in the chakras power pack the fifth icon up is the throat chakra once you have opened this up you can turn the frequency down so that to hear the guided meditation thank you for all your subscribes your shares and your likes i would not be able to get this message out without you part three is a guided throat chakra unblocking meditation by the brain education tv Enjoy the meditation. Hello, Earth citizens. In this video, I will show you a 10 minute routine for your fifth chakra. Your fifth chakra is located in between your collarbone where there's a dip. This area right here is your fifth chakra. So typically we say this is the throat chakra because it encompasses the area of your throat. So it affects places like your thyroid, your voice. Your fifth chakra is your gateway of self-expression. So some people might experience some blockage or scratchiness or stuffiness in their fifth chakra if they're always used to stuffing their words down. They're not able to in a healthy way, express what they need, express what they want, express how they feel. They tend to stuff their feelings down inside that causes blockage in your fifth chakra. But interestingly enough, on the other hand, you know people who are too vocal about their opinions, they're too opinionated, they talk too much. Those people also experience uh, imbalance in their fifth chakra as well. So some signs that you can tell if you have some blockage in your fifth chakra is if you feel scratchiness in your throat, if you feel like something is choking you, if you feel some kind of unexplainable stuffiness in your throat, like you can't breathe very well, or you feel like your voice is not coming out clearly if you feel that sound is not coming out clearly from your fifth chakra so if you experience any of these things hopefully this 10 minute routine will help you open up some blocked energy in your fifth chakra so that you could get energy flowing well there again as we've been going along in this chakra series we've been telling you the colors of the different chakra points in brain education the colors are slightly different from what you're traditionally used to so we say in our practice that the fifth chakra is a green color like this so because the fifth chakra is associated with your throat, we're going to be using our voice and breath a lot. So feel free to either lie down or stand up or sit down. If you can't sit down like this and have lotus posture, any other posture is okay because the breath and the, the voice are what's going to be important. But for the purpose of this video, I'm going to show you sitting down in half lotus. All right, so sit straight with your spine nice and stacked on top of each other. Close your eyes, focus on the top of your head. Before we start, let's receive energy down our chakra line. Focus on the top of your head. Imagine that from the sun, a pillar of light enters your body through the top of your head and trickles down the center of your body until it reaches the base of your spine. As you feel this energy coming in, take a deep breath in through your nose, exhaling out through your mouth. Ha. Again, breathe in. And with a soft sigh, exhale out ha. from your throat. Ha. One more time, breathe in and exhale out from your throat. Ha. Now open your eyes with your fingertips and your wrists nice and relaxed. Tap the dip in between your collarbone with your fingertips like this. So rather than tapping your collarbone, tap the space in between your collarbone. Good. As you tap here, keep your jaw relaxed. Kind of like when you take a nap, you're sleeping with your jaw relaxed like that. So keep your jaw nice and relaxed. Breathe out through your mouth. Ha, ha. Let's tap here for one minute. So first, try to breathe with kind of like a very um, throaty breath, like like that from your throat. As if with your throat, with your breath, you are pushing out stagnant energy from your throat. As you do this, if you cough in the process, that's a great sign. If you don't cough, that's still okay too. 30 more seconds.
Two more breaths. And stop. Sweep your neck down. Bring your hands to your knees. And now let's do neck rotations. First, tuck your chin in towards your chest. Feel the stretch in the back of your neck. Gentle breathing. And now chin up. Touch Gently touch your teeth together. Chin up. Feel the stretch on the front side of your throat. Return. Now to the left side. Exhale out any tension you feel. Return. Now the right side. Now from here, make big circles. You don't have to go fast. Just make sure you can really feel the full rotation of your neck muscles. Each little muscle sinew fiber stretching as you move. Let's do five on each side. One. Make sure you breathe. Two. Three. Can you feel all of your neck muscles? Four. And five. And now the other side, one, big circles. Make sure you feel every muscle in this rotation around your neck. Making your muscles t- less tight, making them nice and loose will help you open up blockages there too. Three, breathe out through your mouth. Huh. Four. Five. Great. Return. Now shake your head gently side to side. Side to side, loosening up your neck, up and down. Ooh. Okay, return. Sometimes this might be all it takes for you to loosen up some energy blockages in your fifth chakra because a lot of it has to do with the tension that I'm holding on my neck because if your muscles here are tight, then it affects the energy flow of your fifth chakra too. Okay? All right, we're going to go back to tapping with our fingers. Now tap here and now this time, instead of just a breath, I want you to make a ah uh, sound from your throat. Okay? Don't try to make a sound, just open your mouth and let sound naturally come out like this. Ah, uh, like that. All right, okay? So this time, point your chin up a little bit to give your throat a little bit more room. Tap the same place and now make a uh, sound from your throat. Ah. Uh, Ah, uh, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and stop. Okay, great job. Now bring your palms close together. And if you're energetically sensitive, you can probably feel some tingling sensation in your fingers now from all the tapping. Maybe some of you might feel some heat. Maybe some of you might feel some magnetic sensation. If you're not able to feel anything, please tap your fingertips. Tap your fingertips for 30 seconds and then stop and feel the space between your palms. For those of you who can already feel the energy in between your palms, move your palms in a circle and create an energy ball in your palms. We're going to create a ball of energy and then insert it into our throat chakra. So this requires concentration. Please focus on the energy sense between your hands more than me. Just listen to my vocal guidance and focus your attention in between your palms. You can close your eyes if it helps you focus. Create an energy ball in between your palms that we will place into our fifth chakra. Let your hands feel the outline of the energy ball. As you focus your attention there more and more, you will feel the energy growing and something forming in between your palms. Focus on your palms. And like a snowball, as you gather your focus in your palms, the energy in your palms also grows. If you can't feel it, that's okay. Just concentrate as much as you can. And even if it's a small energy ball, create something that you can feel right now. Let's do a few more seconds to create the energy ball and then we will place it into our fifth chakra for energy healing. Okay, 
All right, so now bring your palms out like this. Imagine you're holding a green ball of energy in between your palms. And at the count of three, I want you to bring your palms to your throat and imagine you are placing this energy ball into your throat. Are you ready? Slowly lift it up in front of your throat. One, two, three. Imagine the green ball of energy in your throat. And now gently move your hands around in a circle. As if energetically you are moving all the blockage, sweeping down all the debris, all the blockage from your fifth chakra. Whatever is blocking you, whatever you're holding back, whatever you're suppressing in your throat, with the energy of your palms, sweep it all away. You can also sweep it down to your chest and down and out. Okay, stop. Now, place your palms touching your fifth chakra, stacking your palms on top of each other. Send the energy, warm energy into your throat. Imagine from your palms, warm energy, heat, loving energy is coming out and going into your throat, making your throat warm, making your throat open, and making your throat healthy. Great job. Take a deep breath in, lower your hands to your knees, breathe in. And a sigh out. Ah. Again, breathe in. Sigh out from your throat. Ah. One more time, open your eyes. Sigh out. Ah. How do you feel? Do you feel that something in your throat is a little bit more open? Maybe try saying ah, uh, ah, uh, ah uh, out loud and see if your voice comes out more clear, more defined, and more confident. If you feel that you need to open your fifth chakra a little bit more, feel free to rewatch this video and go through the 10-minute routine again at any time. You did a thank you for being on this journey with me, and thank you for your continued support of this message and this channel. Please leave a comment and tell us where you are on your journey. And is there a specific video you would like to see me create with illustrations? I read all my comments. Looking forward to hanging out with you in the next video.